Hey guys. Morning. We're at Wawa. This is Wawa. The Wawa stop. You know what that means, right? Adventure time. Yay. <laughs> morning, guys. Good morning. It's K and D Adventures here. It's early. Very early for us Ooh. because of COVID. Of course, we haven't been out right. much at all. So today was an early wake up. But we have some exciting things planned for you today. Yay! We are in Pennsylvania and we are heading out to a place called Mount Joy. Yes. Everybody laughs about that because, you know, bring a little it's joy. It's kind of funny, Mount Joy. Bring <laughs> a little joy to your life. <laughs> um, uh, but we're going to we're going to a couple places, a few places actually, because um, we're going to start at a. It's like a metaphysical kind of shop that that you found. I did. And because so you like that. All about witches and witchy stuff. I love it. Love it. Love it. Um, for all my witchy friends, this is for you. And then we're gonna head to another uh, shop that's more of an oddities, like a more of a macabre kind of. It's called what is it called? The dark uh, parlor. The dark parlor. Dark that's it. Parlor. Yeah, I reached out to them, but I haven't heard back from them yet. So we'll see. Hopefully, we can film something there. Yeah. And then finally, we're gonna head over to Boobies uh, Brewery. Boobies. Boobies. Of it's, course, it's not spelled boobies. It's spelled B-U-B-E-S. Yes. Brewery, but it's pronounced boobies, it's and we're very excited about it. Nineteenth century brewery that was uh it's pretty much all original when you see the inside it's amazing it's really amazing they have they've kept most of the original um interior, interior. so it really looks cool there's huge barrels um that you can dine in they have catacombs i'm really looking forward to it and they're, they're really nice uh i reached out to them and talked to the owner sam and he was excited he's like yeah come on out yeah. you can film um, let us know when you get here and they'll take us on a tour. So Looking forward to it and we're gonna eat there um, yes. So you get to see what kind of food they serve and um, mm, 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 We'll mm, definitely mm. be hungry by then. Yeah, so <laughs> But we have about an hour and a half drive ahead of us. So um, Unless something interesting comes up along the way we will come back to you when we're at the metaphysical shop Yes All right. Bye. See you soon We made it. We are in Mount Joy, Mount Joy, Pennsylvania, and uh, we just parked. We we're walking around, and it's pretty cool. They have these um, these uh, hometown hero banners. Look at these. They made them like little notes. Oh, look at this. What are these trash cans? I don't know what they are. They're like little notes. They're notes, but what? Are, oh, they're like banners. Oh, That's yeah. cool. But uh, let's see. So cute. So they have this. I want to get around because the sun's in there. Hold it. Let's check that out. Hometown heroes. Tom Hayden, U.S. Navy, Vietnam, 1966-1968. And they're all over. They're on all the pole, holes. There's one down there. And there's one down there. Pretty cool. That's neat. That's for uh, American Pickers. Yeah, yeah, they would love that shit. I mean, stuff. <laughs> trying to keep it PG. <laughs> All right, we found it. Here is the, uh, the sign on the sidewalk. Moon Raven Alley. That's our first stop today. It's got all kinds of stuff. Donna loves. <laughs> Look at this. Crystals and cauldrons How and could you wands. Not love it? Paintings. Astrology charts. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Everything that she loves and I kind of dig but am skeptical of because I'm a skeptic. Whatever. <laughs> so we're going to go in and meet the owner and uh, see what kind of stuff they have. they have. Yeah. And this is it if you want to see it. It looks like a big, it does look like a theater. So let's 
like it's got the, like the marquee. Yeah. And uh, yeah, pretty cool. Let's go inside. I'm going to name you Pete because Pete's the dragon. <laughs> This is not the Scarlet Witch. <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> Ready? Yep. Okay, we are at uh, Moon Raven Alley, and we're here with the owners, Colette and Gina, sure, and they're going to tell us about their store. Yeah. Okay, so this is um, a metaphysical occult store. Um, Gina and I have been in business for about two years, uh, two and a half years. Yeah. We started in a very small shop. And then we have grown into a much larger shop. Welcome, guys. Come on in. Hello. Hi. 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 Look at you. Smiles. Welcome. If you have any questions, please let us know. Okay. So we have things okay. that vary for yes. anybody's awesome. um, taste okay. or flavor okay. in occultism. Uh, we exactly also have <laughs> art work. Um, Gina and I both paint and draw, and we've started an art gallery on the other side. Ooh. So this is the front of the store. The front of the store has boxes because we like boxes. So do I. I, I, love, I love the little, like, the little locks on boxes. Yes. I'm just drawn to like all that older stuff. Yes, and then over here, um, we have uh, already put together some um, altar kits for our folks, oh, okay. uh, depending on you know what they are interested in or what they like. Um, and then here we have our cabinet that has our asames, uh, wands, uh, pentacles, things that you would use on your altar. Um, we have a bowling up there in the corner as well as singing bowls. Very nice. Um, we also have some handmade wands from a gentleman um, who makes those for us with the different uh, magical properties of each of the woods. Okay. This is our sea witchery. Um, different sands and waters uh, from actually collected in California. Um, I wish Gina was here right now because, oh, Doheny State Park. So this is uh, sand from Doheny as well as the uh, stones. Sand dollars, information on um, ocean water, um, the healing powers of the o ocean. Here we have what we call desert witchery. Um, Gina's husband from Arizona. So oh. they go to Sedona mm -hmm. and then collect the stones and the sand from Sedona. And then we have the properties of the different um, cactus correspondences and sand dirt. Very nice. And then over here, we have our different stone collection, which has grown exponentially since we've started. Um, so each stone has a different vibration or property uh, that is drawn to folks. Mm -hmm. Here we have um, one of our artisans, uh, Maria, does our stained glass. So we have the stained glass jewelry as well as the stained glass pieces that you can hang. Oh, I love it. On the other side, we have a mermaid. Ah, oh, very nice. And then the green man, which is my favorite. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, that is cool. Cool. And then over here we have some uh, wood burning that we have done. Um, these are spirit boards. Um, people also call them Ouija boards. Um, and then we also have a friend who is a master seamstress. So she makes the corsets, uh, the flounce tops, uh, men's poet shirts. Mm -hmm. Very cool. So much to see. <laughs> And then over here is our herb section. Um, we are close to, I think, 180 herbs that we have at this time. So pretty much any herb um, that you need, we have. We also make our own oils, uh, different oils for like banishing and calming and uh, renewal, as well as the astrological oils and planetary oils. Uh, we have hydrosols as well uh, for people that don't really like to cleanse with sage mm -hmm. but some people can't do the smoke or the smell these are hydrosols made from another artisan uh, as well as some of her teas and then over here we have jewelry um, most of the jewelry is handmade by by ourselves um, so we have some wraps 
stones, arrowhead, um, earrings, uh, belly button ring. Um, and then we also have the elf ears. These we didn't make, these we, we brought into the store. A lot of people oh, wow. like to wear those at the Ren Fair. That's cool. They are I like cool. That. Very, very neat. <laughs> and then we have various um, stone bracelets with the properties of the different stones. This is our candle section. And then back here we have a book section, as well as grimoires. Um, our tarot section, which is a little depleted right now, but we do also <laughs> carry uh, tarot. And then over here um, is our incense area. Um, cauldrons, um, different incense holders. We started getting a lot of different sages Mm -hmm. and putting their properties down so people have a choice of the different ones they might need for a particular uh, time. I like the planchette. That's cool. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, really neat. these are yeah. new that we just got. For the incense holders, this mm -hmm. is really cool. Very cool. And then back here is our very messy studio. I cleaned it. Oh, I cleaned it. Try it anyway. She got a quick clean in. <laughs> this is where Gina and I work. Oh, wow. Look at this. This oh, is so cool. Very neat. And then through here, <laughs> this is actually my reading room. So in here I do tarot, runes, mediumship, um, and astrological charts. Cool. And then down the hallway we've started an art gallery. And we also have Gina's collection of lamps that uh, she's pulling from because she has some old but these are the different pieces of work. And these are local artists or? Uh, Gina does... and I. Okay. And there's um, Lisa who does the pours. She has her work up here as well. Wow. Very nice. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Very cool. That off. And then on this side we have more tapestries. I love it. That's nice. Yeah. That's really cool. I like that. Oh, the mermaid. Christine yeah. love it. Oh, that's yeah. nice too. I like that. And then back here, we have a prayer altar. If anybody would like to light a candle for themselves or for someone else. Ooh. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. You want to light a candle? Get out of your way. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh -huh. How do you light a candle? Well, there's some authority in the bed, so. So. <laughs> Oh, there you go. Is she gonna light a candle? One Is it any any one of these? Oh, a little oh, okay. one. Oh yeah. There Actually, don't use a match. Oh, okay. Oh. Don't use a match. So what the match is, is made with sulfur. So oh, whatever okay. you're doing, you're actually gonna bring the banishment of what you want, opposed to bringing towards you. So oh, okay. never use a never use a match. match. Never so use that's a match. our okay. main light. Use this as the lighter. Oh, okay. And then use any one of these candles. Oh, okay. Thank you. I'm sorry, I'm getting it's, my No, that's okay. Because we were looking, I'm like, oh, what do I do? use? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just don't blow, burn the place down. I, yeah. just, I promise. I promise. <laughs> that's our good one anyway, not too. <laughs> Very cool. Okay. There you go. Can't blow it because I have a mask on. <laughs> that was kind of funny. Uh, okay, so we're going to light this for our adventures. Here you go. We have safe adventures. Hi. There you go. I love this very thing. Very cool. I love it. Very, very cool. I like this. Oh my gosh, there's so much to look at. Yeah, we definitely have to. We got a good tour, but we have to go through again. So, how long has this been 
I guess, just in progress. Under a year. Yeah. Under a year? Yeah. We wow. started it right before, right after when we reopened from um, okay. COVID. Okay. We were down for a couple of months, uh, yeah. no, a month and a half or two months. And okay. Then we were told we could, op- op- small businesses could open again. Okay. But with restriction. And right. And that's when we started it. Wow. I love that. It's There's like just so, thing. yeah, it's beautiful. It's just the, the colors and the layers. This it's actually is really a piece of driftwood under there that Gina drilled holes and put in candle holders. There, oh, actually, okay. It was actually there, started. There were candle holders. <laughs> <laughs> That's very cool. Let me scoop by. Can I see what you're working on? Sure. Okay. Very cool. It's actually a mask Ooh. that I'm working on. So it's Ooh. just the beginning of it. Um, so this is uh, going to be a part of the bird part of the front of the mask and then the man's chin here and the rest of him and then this is all going to be feathers wow. and then in the background will be trees and some water in this area here. Very so. cool. Yeah. Very cool. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> like we need another one. It's an incense burner though, so it's who's, different. Who's going to be a party pooper? No. no. Oh, I don't know. The spirits pointed at you. <laughs> who's, who's the awesome one? The real one. You guys know it. You guys know. So they just said that they have a creepy cabinet, and we're gonna go take a look because that's that's cool stuff. <laughs> this is the one that we are. Bone, snakeskin, goofer dust. We even have skunk fur. Wow. Lots of fun. Poisonous oh, mushrooms. Look at that. Uh, penis bones. Yes. Yes, I have one. Yes, <laughs> yes they are. <laughs> uh, I got it from um, the, the guys. Oh, man, I forget the show. Uh, but I was at a horror show, a horror convention, and they were selling them. And, and uh, once they told me the story about the moonshiners using it, um, I was like, oh, yeah. yes, yeah. I definitely want one. We had a girlfriend who sent them to us. That's awesome. That's really cool. Yeah. And, uh, shark teeth. Shark teeth, yeah. I have itsy bitsy birdie feet. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much These creepy These here, stuff. which is so trippy, came from the other building we were in, which the building was built in uh, 17... 89 or something like that okay came out of the fire soot it was oh. all inside of the soot of the fireplace and what are what are they? i don't know i oh. think there's some type of fly oh but they were physically inside of the soot <laughs> that's cool i thought so too and yeah. they're so pretty <laughs> so yeah <laughs> kind of our crazy very very neat stuff. i love it that's cool Thanks. thank you for showing us oh, absolutely <laughs> Donna's getting a gift. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Show it off. Ooh, pretty. He went to that dark corner and he showed me a picture. Pretty. We gotta go. Yay. Flavors are peanut butter mm-hmm. and they're dark chocolate truffles, ganache, um, peanut butter, lavender, 
rosemary made with our own herbs. So and mm. chili. No chili. So no chili for me. The lavender. Ooh. I'll try the lavender. That one's the peanut butter. Ooh. Mm, that's good for Kenny. I want to try the and peanut butter. And then this one's the rosemary, but it's in pieces. And you guys can try one of each if you'd like. Ooh. Oh, thank you. And then um, the box does come with two of each flavor included, okay. in including yeah. the chili. So Try the chili safe. is the one that has the uh -huh. um, powdered sugar on the top. Okay, mm -hmm. so he can't eat. Well, he won't eat it. I will. Or he will, and then be like, mm -hmm. uh, what did I eat? <laughs> what did I eat? Mm -hmm. So and we have this one a, is rosemary. Yep. We have a sweet, a savory, a nutty, and a heat. Nutty. <laughs> 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 We'll definitely take a box. Okay. Yeah. They're really good. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like them with the. I didn't. I didn't know how it was going to be with the fragrance, but yeah, it's good. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, guys, we just left the Moon Raven Alley. That was fun. It was a very nice store. That it was, was nice. awesome. Um, and now we are heading out to York, Pennsylvania, to visit the Dark Parlor. And, Dark uh, Pollard. It's great because I I, I, wrote, I wanted to go here. Our friend JD um, recommended it, and because it's like an oddity, it's a macabre kind of oddity store slash museum. I more don't of think a candy store. Yeah, it's more of a me like creepy, creepy shit, which is awesome. Um, and um, we just got word back from the owner, uh, Lauren, who said that it was okay to film. Um, when we show up. Yes, we're great. very excited. Because we always like to ask permission before we get there. like If possible. For, yeah. The more time we have before we get there, the more we're ready and prepared and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, I'm happy that she got back to us. And uh, we can film and, and see what's inside. So, we'll be there in... A little bit. 20 minutes or so. Well, for you guys, it'll be like that. Boom. Boom. So, see you soon. Look at that. Look at that, that's beautiful. I think that's oh, Chickie's Rock. Yeah. yeah. This is so Jason Columbia. Columbia. Right? Are we yeah. going into Columbia now? I don't I don't know. Maybe we are. This is where um the Alba Twitch is. Alba Twitch, little big foot. <laughs> Alright, we gotta turn here. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah. There's Burger King. There there's the oh, there's the the Turkey the Hill Turkey experience. Hill. So yeah, we're right. Oh my we god! We are in Columbia, Pennsylvania. I know where we, we just are. just passed Chickie's. Yeah, Chickie's Rock, Rock. is back behind us. That's where the Alba Twitch, the little Bigfoot, is. Wow, we didn't even realize where we were. Wow. Cool. All right, we're heading out. second place the dark parlor we made it it's in your PA we're gonna go find out what's inside see what's dark yes casket or casket a mask yes I am he's masked am I masked yes I don't want to be in a casket here we go going in <laughs> oh this is so cool <laughs> what do you think so far? Love it. <laughs> Crazy. So cool. transport coffin. That is so cool. Only 500 bucks. Ooh, I like this one. It's got like a peak. Yeah. 
that would be for me. I would be in there, just laying in there, like this, and then all of a sudden, boom. <laughs> all right, well, welcome to the dark parlor. Thank you. The room that we're in right now would be our animal room. But uh, as far as everything that we have going on here, we opened up June 28th, 2019. We had our grand opening. The mayor was here, and he had a nice little room outside the shop. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, nice. it was pretty cool. Um, the owner, Lauren Ray, she is uh, a wonderful, crazy, cool person. I mean, <laughs> like, nobody else you're ever going to meet in the world. She's always been into this stuff her whole life, and she just decided to start getting into the sharing it with okay. other people as opposed to, you know, keeping it all to herself. Okay. Mm -hmm. She opened up the shop, um, keeping in mind wanting to share knowledge with people and having a place where people that are into this kind of stuff can come and connect with other people since there isn't too many places like that around right. here for mm -hmm. people to open up and be into more like the darker side of things, occult stuff, um, whatever you're into, you know, we're open-minded, so. Mm -hmm. okay. But as far as the shop goes, we have six rooms to explore. The first one will be our human condition room, which is where we have most of our human stuff, from old medical equipment and apothecary jars, like opium bottles and belladonna jars, to real human skulls and real human bones. I mean, this is kind of the... You don't really see this, yeah, you know, yeah. anymore. No, not at all. <laughs> it's not even hard to find stuff like this online to look at, like, right. pictures of it. So, a lot of the tree intrigue, like, the draw up here is coming to see this stuff in person and mm -hmm. be able to see, like, somebody's story, you know? This guy had a life, like us. Right. And now it's just here. Right. And, uh, personally, I like to be a skull one day or something and somebody would take yeah, home. You kind of move on. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. I, Instead of just being buried or something, you well, know, I'd rather you remember it, but yeah. It's a great idea. That's awesome. <laughs> our next room is our animal room. Um, we have mostly animal stuff, a little bit of branding in here, but animal skulls, articulated deer, um, white specimens. Most of our white specimens are done by our friend Misty from Blood Moon Oddities. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're a little bit haunted sometimes, I mean, whether by us or by someone yeah. else, but um, our wet specimens, some of them, the diaphanized ones, have been um, made so you can, you know, see through them and see all their arteries and bones, and then it's all dyed different colors, so you can tell what's wet. That's kind of neat. We have... Um, Monkeys, baboons, glass eyes, taxidermy, um, goats. We're big fans of goats here, not only because uh, me and the owner are both Capricorns, but uh -huh. <laughs> goats are just, you know, oh, yeah. oh, yes. powerful. This, uh, pretty cool. Those are actually Jacob's sheep. Pretty cool. That's a wildebeest. I didn't even know they were real. Oh, yeah. I saw that thing. <laughs> but yeah, this next room will be our embalming room. We also call it Poppins and Coffee because we got Poppins and Coffee. You know, but <laughs> it's mostly what happens after you die in this room. Um, mortuary, funeral stuff, postmortem pathology, uh, Victorian hair wreaths. Um, oh, wow. Oh, lots of pictures of dead people. Um, some Do of them we knew, some of them we didn't. The Victorian hair wreath, is that? Yes. What, what is that? Uh, it's a, a Victorian piece, probably, I'm not exactly sure the exact date on this guy. Okay. But something that they used to do is um, when someone would die, they would take their hair and they would weave it into these beautiful Oh, it's uh, actual morning. hair. Oh, yeah. So that's wow. how you the person in the picture is here. I'm yeah. not sure oh, where okay. it was, but... And wow. we get a couple of different versions of these. We had um, a really bizarre one one time with, um, like, curly blonde, uh, like, pigtails almost. And okay. it was really cool. I've never seen something like that before, but... Uh, my favorite thing in this room, which I think is super cool, is this old cooling coffin that we have. So this is like a transport coffin, and as you can see in this picture here, um, it was used back in the past before, you know, we could keep bodies cool for long right. periods of time. Mm -hmm. We'd have to have a different way to do that for people to come and mourn over a couple okay. weeks. So the body had to be transported across the country, like they died at war or something. Okay. They would go on one of these things, they'd go on a train or something. This guy would rest at the top right here, and like, 
under the beer if the longer you got. Okay. It wouldn't have the beer. Right. <laughs> um, this would set in the top. This would go directly over the person's face, and they would lay the body underneath. Then they would fill up this thing with ice. Oh, and wow. And when the ice would melt, it would go down this little tube, and it would drain out the cold water and help keep the body all cool and stuff. Okay. But the cool thing about this is it has the circle here. So this is actually the lid thing. Oh, oh okay. okay, I got it. This would go directly over the circle. You could look down and see your loved one. Okay. Mourn them, you know, pass over. This was on hinges, so you could lift up the hinges to replace the ice without having to take off the whole lid. Uh, oh. okay. Oh. Oh. I'm so oh. sorry about Just, that. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, come on in, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> That's our neighbor, John. Wonderful guy. He's always uh, spooking us as well. Mm -hmm. But yeah, um, as far as other rooms go, mm -hmm. we have three upstairs. Ooh. We have our occult room, our dog gallery, and we have a chaos room, which is um, a little bit of everything, but right now it's transforming into our cute kawaii clown oh. dungeon. So, yeah. um, so the chaos room is a little Thank you. This is Kenny's butt. Huh. So this is our um, occult room. We call it our seance parlor. Okay. This is where we have most of our magic items. Um, um, we used to have all our books on our books up in here, but we just recently moved them into our dark gallery or our dark den is what we're calling it now. But we're always switching stuff up here and just um, mostly ritual items. So stuff that you would use in magic spells and incantations, um, altar cloths. You actually do candles. seances in here? Well, we have before, but um, a lot of the times when we would do seances, we would hold them in our dark gallery because it was just a little bit... Um, bigger, bit more people okay. in there. Okay. But we used to do lots of seances and magic shows every um, first Friday or so, up until, you know, COVID oh, happened. Yeah. We're hoping to get back into this soon. That'd right. be awesome. Yeah. yeah that's awesome. But, um, incense, so bones. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. I love the upside down frost. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Look at these. It's teeth and an eyeball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a bell buckle. Yeah, that's cool. Mm -hmm. That's very cool. Yeah, but all kinds of uh, weightlifting shirts. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. So, Moving on. Look at that. Love it. <laughs> We're all mad here. <laughs> oh, this, is, this is creepy. Just going oh. in there. Oh, oh, I love it. Our, um, shop snake here, buddy. Oh, he's a little bit shy, but he's super friendly. Hey, buddy. Sometimes you get him out just around. Just around. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is our little clown nook. Oh, yes. Walking in the clown nook. Oh, yes. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, thank you. You um, see, it's transitioning from the dark, the dark, dark and then in coming here. into here with the colors. It's like a little well, jarring. A little jarring. <laughs> that's the goal. We got it. Yeah. You did a great job. Cool. Um, old you know, brick yard stuff. Yeah. Like that. Some, some big cool picture of Courtney Love. Oh, yeah. That's cool. I don't know, just something random. Mm -hmm. But uh, other than that, we have all kinds of um, makeup. This room is actually a little empty looking right now because we've just renovated it. Um, we actually have more stuff in this room now than we did before because of the way that we switched up everything. Right. But we'll be filling it up soon with uh, all oh, kinds sure. of new cute stuff. But uh, yeah. Okay. And then this our dark gallery mm -hmm. with a lot of art um, mostly done by Lauren the owner but okay. some of it is done by other people um, up until COVID happened every first Friday or every month we would have a new artist exhibit in the room they would come into a meet and greet everybody would come oh, and meet them get stuff awesome. signed get 
pranks and stuff like that. I haven't been able to do that lately, but hoping to get back into that as right. well. Right. That's great way to bring the community together too. Yeah. Um, I think it's a great idea. And mm -hmm. there's something a little special about most of these pieces. If you take a look, a lot of them are done in blood. Yeah. Right? Really? Yeah. Very blood. That, that, yeah, it, it, look, it had that look to it. No, she's it's an just, excellent blood painter. It's just donated by Lauren herself. Yeah, she, it's all her own blood. Wow. <clears throat> that is kind of cool. How's that process? Is that mm -hmm. like something she goes to like, she donates blood and says, hey, can you uh, a cup? <laughs> or... The whole process, uh, part of it's a little secreted, but okay. for the most part, she mm -hmm. does um, purges to release um, existential energy or bad energy sometimes or okay. she's just feeling like it's a time that she needs to do it mm -hmm. and then she'll release blood and then she'll paint with that and it's usually that's why all of these kind of have a different feeling and a different meaning to them because she does them in the moment when she's okay. purging right and Sounds yeah cool. pretty cool i'm a big fan of them personally. yeah <laughs> they look great so really? they're really really cool i like this one we actually turned this into one of our paint arms that's it was Wow. So we took one of our blood paintings and then made it one of our, you know, shirts. That is pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Albert Fish. Famed wow. serial killer. Wow. <laughs> and then of course, just some books on magic, some tarot cards. Um... Is this like a special chair or is this just decoration? Uh, it's a chair for if you want to come and sit and read a book, you know? Go ahead, sit in the kitchen. Yeah, absolutely. It's a nice little devil on it. Oh, can you break your chair? Oh, that's nice. That's fine. Pretty cool chair. <laughs> yeah. Penny's in the corner. I <laughs> should turn it around. <laughs> yeah, but that's going to be about it for the shop. Awesome. Decorate and room wise. Um, thank you so much. Thank you guys so much for checking it out and you're always welcome as everybody is welcome here and it's very nice to meet you. Well, thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you again for the tour and yeah, information about the place. Yeah. I'm going to keep walking around and just looking at everything because there's so much to see. Yeah. Please do. If you have any more questions, let me know. Awesome. Okay. Thank, thank you. you so much. See you guys. Mm -hmm. yeah. That was cool. That was really cool. Yeah. I mean, we got, we got some background information. It's freaky shit. But mm -hmm. it's cool shit. I love this kind of thing. I don't know why. It's it's very macabre. And I know we have friends that are into this. I know our friend JD. Yeah. I love it. Um, Anna, out in California. I think she would love this place. Oh yeah. I think she would really love it. But yeah, let's some more pictures. Yeah. Let's This is really cool, this one. Yeah, I like that one too. That, that just kind of stands out, especially because of this. Like, this draws you from across the room, right. and when you get close, then you start noticing, oh crap, there's a, there's other ones back there. Yeah. That's kind of creepy looking. I haven't done a painting in blood yet. No. Maybe, maybe that'll be next time I donate blood. I'll be like, hey, can you just squeeze a little bit into this tube here? Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> a little extra. That's it. But the next time I do something stupid, <laughs> before you put a band aid on me, you know, a little, a little uh, bottle. We'll see. Oh, this is amazing. Okay. What's the story with Hank the Screwhead? The skeleton in a coffin is very special. Frank was discovered in the rafters of an old row home in northern Pennsylvania. He was tucked away for about 60 years. Poor guy. He needed some love and attention. Wow.
<laughs> so, I definitely think out of all the rooms in this store, in the dark parlor, this is the creepiest. Of all, because definitely. Because you just don't expect it. You're like dark, 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 dark bones and devils and all, all this stuff. Thing. Everything's dark. And then all of a sudden, you come into oh. this room. Clown. Oh, no. And it's all colorful and bright colors, pastels and shit. And you're like, what the fuck happened? Crazy clown. Oh, but this is cool. Especially, it breaks it up when you have masks like this. The old wheelchair. I didn't even realize For, it was a wheelchair. Yeah. Wheelchair. There's one downstairs too in the coffee room. Oh, okay. Oh, there's a straight jacket. <laughs> so these are actually they're real skulls. These are skulls. Twenty five hundred dollars, three thousand, four thousand. But they're saying stuff like this says real human skull with ventures. That's that one. Um, this is the demonstration skull. Let's see. Harvey. Harvey. Harvard Medical Skull with Skull Box. Wow, oh, so it came with that. Very cool. Skull. These are expensive. Look at that one. Oh, that's a child skull. That's sad. The skull caps. Wow. So if you're, uh, if you need an extra bone, this is a good place to come. Or if you need any uh, extra teeth. Yes. Some um, human teeth. Yeah. Oh wow. Just in case you lost one. <laughs> you buy one back. Makes great art too. Right. <laughs> oh, this is really strong. This look at this one. Uh, oh, I love this. This is how it's like part. Oh, they exploded you. just got done in the dark parlor and we had to stop at Turkey Hill because it was um, convenient we, we had to pee um, and we got the, the the big one with the actual Turkey Hill experience with a huge cow Look at that. <laughs> that's awesome because this is actually where you can tour Turkey Hill yeah you could actually take the tour Turkey Hill experience which is and cool that's in Columbia PA Columbia yes so we're not going to do that today because we just don't have no. time um, but this is on the list. We're, yep. we're gonna have to come through and do this again. So, okay. <laughs> we're checking out a cover bridge. Hopefully, we can take, take nice the pictures. Next left onto Bridge Valley Road. Then turn left to stay on Bridge Valley Road. It's Thank on you. Bridge Valley Road. <laughs> bridge Valley. So bridge covered Valley bridge Road is part of Bridge Valley, Valley Road. Road. Wow. Hopefully. Oh, there, uh, oh, there it is. What? You can see it down there. Oh. Look at that. Look at that. That's Check where we're going. Up. One Lee Bridge. Check this out. So Pennsylvania is known for its old covered bridges. And we are going to... Hey, there's somebody uh, just somebody's flying down. You've through. arrived. That's all right. We'll wait. Jackass. Kenny. What? Oh, cool. Wow. Really Check neat. it out. This is different than the ones I've been through. 
<laughs> now we're gonna turn around and do that again. <laughs> we're totally gonna do it again. Because we don't often get to drive through them. No. Like, the, I mean, the one that we go to the most is Gettysburg. And yeah, you, you have walk. to stop and walk. So we gotta find a place to walk. Right here. Oh, here we go. We're gonna turn around and let you experience that again. And then we're gonna stop maybe, I think on the other side there's a little write up. I don't know if we can stop there. Let's see. Are you ready? You sure there's nobody Nobody's coming? there. All right, good. Ooh, let's go through slow. Dun, dun. Boom. Welcome Boom. to Pennsylvania's Covered Bridges. Yay. Very nice. There you go. Forey's Mill Bridge, 1869. In January 1861, citizens of West Hempfield and Raffo Townships petitioned for a bridge at the place where the public highway leading from Marietta Park, Pike to the village of Maytown near the lands of Henry Copenhepper and John Forey, the petition described the ford here being more than ordinary deep and being frequently rendered impassable by reason of ice and high waters. County commissioners finally awarded the contract for the bridge to Ellis McMillan on June 14, 1869. Perhaps the Civil War delayed bridge approval. McMillan enlisted the Civil War in 1861 and was wounded three times before he mustered out and returned to Lancaster in 1865 to resume bridge building. McMillan built nearly a dozen covered bridges across Lancaster County. The Forey Mill Bridge is a single span wooden double burr arch design built for the cost of 2000 Nine hundred and sixty-nine dollars. Wow. You won't see that again. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm not gonna go too far. It's pretty cool that he survived the Civil War being wounded three times. Right. That looks so cool. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Don't set fire or damage. No. That's basically what it says. Five thousand dollar fine. This is pretty cool. Hey, jeez. Seven hundred. French Valley Road. Huh. Very cool. Very nice. Alright, so that was the end of part one of our, our adventure to Mount Joy and uh, where else did we go? In York. York. York PA. Wow, brain fart. <laughs> um, so we have more to go, um, but we, we didn't want this to be too long of a video, yeah. so we're breaking it up into two parts. And the first part is um, the Moon Raven. Moon store, Raven Alley. And the Dark Parlor. The Dark Parlor. And Correct. of course, a covered bridge, which yeah. is cool. And then part two um, will be when we go to Booby's uh, Brewery. And mm -hmm. th that should be fun. We're actually going to head over there in a little bit and get some yummy food and take a tour. And I hear it's haunted. <gasps> we shall see. <laughs> anyway, so um, if, you, if you like the video, um, give us a thumbs up. Thumbs up. And if you like what we're doing, Hit sub subscribe. Bell. Oh, bell. We're going to do a bell over there. Bell. Thing, and we're doing subscribe over here <laughs> and uh, come back for more let us know if there's any places that you think are really cool and interesting like off the beaten path and let us know because we want to go there yeah. and especially with the pandemic still in effect it's hard to find places that are open so every little bit helps and uh, if you're if you own one of them places let call us, us know let us know we'll come out and help promote your business yeah exactly and that's it that's our tagline oh so life is a journey, so get out there. And enjoy it. That's right. <laughs> Bye. We'll get it sooner or later. <laughs> sooner or later, we'll get it. No, because we're not professionals. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be professionals soon. 
We're gonna have to. We're gonna steal from Kara and Nate and do like a bloop reel. Yeah. And we're just gonna all the times we screw reel. up. We should probably redo that. No. No. Nah, that nah, will be well, fine. Well, then it won't be a blooper reel. It'll be fine. Okay. We'll be good. We'll be good. We'll be good. Thank you.